everyone and welcome back to Magical Diary. Now then, it's 9 a.m. and <clears throat> at bah. Well, we started this off great. At 9 a.m. at Monday morning, all the freshmen are gathered in the gym gymnasium, wearing capes and robes, just like me. But they're not completely like me. One boy has furry ears and a long tail. One girl has glittering wings. And that girl looks like a vampire. Wow. I, I mean, okay, the other two, you were actually, like, saying something, but you literally just looked at her and I'm like, you look like a vampire. <laughs> okay. Is this what it means to be born witch? Being something other than human? Virginia looks normal, but she could be hiding something under her robes. No, that's just silly. It's gonna end up to be true. The muttering and shuffering of the students drops off as someone steps onto the podium. <laughs> Hello, my little flower buds! Welcome to Iris Academy! I start to applause, but freeze as I realize that no one else is. Then Virginia, beside me, picks up the clapping loud me. Soon the whole room is cheering. The witch holds up her hands and the room settles back into silence. My name is Professor Postum. Po no, wait, Potstum? Po Post po Potstum, yeah. And I will be one of your instructors in the way of instructors? Instructors in the way of magic. For some of you, this will be the beginning of an adventure such as you've never imagined. For others, this is only the next step in a journey you have been expect expect expecting all your lives. At Iris Academy, we teach spelling using the pe the pentachronomatic sewer. Red magic is forceful, but not necessarily violent. Blue is the color of transformation and change. Green, the color of life in the world of plants and animals. White affects the mind and spirit, and black magic contains within physical objects. Your palette should contain at least a few dabs of every magical color, but a beautiful painting doesn't need every shade, it's style that matters. You all have differing strengths, differing talents. Here at Iris Academy, we, in we embrace that diversity and tailor your education to your needs. Choose your schedule to focus your personal talents. Don't try to become a reflection of your classmates. Follow your own star wherever it may lead you. That's not bad advice. That is the way in which you are all alike. You each have your own future, and I know you'll make us proud. Her starry-eyed way of speaking reminds me a little bit of my old school's guidance counselor. But she certainly seems nicer than Professor Grabnir. I wonder which class she teaches. You have been divided into halls to help you make friends with classmates who share similar interests. For the girls, we have the adventurous ho horses, the charming butterflies, and the mysterious snakes. Each group claps as their name is called, the horses louder than the others, or perhaps that's just because I'm sitting with more of them. For the boys, we have the daring wolves, the elegant falcons, and the eldritch toads. I'm not sure what eldritch mean- yeah, neither do I, but toad sounds even worse than snakes. I hope you'll all become good friends, not just in each hall, and not just in your year, but throughout the whole academy. But most importantly, I hope you'll get to know and trust your roommates, so that by the end of the year you'll be able to work as a team for your final exams. And I know you're all looking forward to your exams, yes? <laughs> the audience, predictably, groans. For testing purposes, your instructor will regularly set your practical challenges in the school dungeons. The school has dungeons? Each task has many possible solutions. You'll need to make creative use of your spells if you have chosen to learn. So think ahead about what might be useful and how. Okay, are you all ready for magic? Open up your diaries and begin penciling in your schedule. Wait, well, oh, we gotta pick- oh! I need to choose which classes to attend this week. There are classes for each kind of magic. Mm. I've got, like, so much spit. Plus general studying, which sounds boring, and gym classes, which I've always liked. I can always 
I can also schedule free time to relax and unwind. For most of my life, my classes have been planned out for me at my school. It wasn't until last year that I got to make any choices at all. Cantonese, French, or Spanish. Physics, chemistry, or biology. Still, everyone had to have the same number of classes, and they all started and ended at the same time. You couldn't get out of it. If I can choose whatever schedule I want here, what would happen if I never went to class at all? Would they really let me get away with that? Hmm. What should I do this week? Okay, let's now... <laughs> can I really just pick to sleep all week? I'm kind of curious what that ending would be. But first, we have to save. Okay, so we're finally, like, at the actual game. Wow, okay. So, let's see now. If, if I recall correctly, uh, Red Magic was forceful. So, I think, so... What that means, I would think, is... Would it go well with Jim, or... Hmm... I'm kinda... I don't wanna just kinda pick a whole, like... I just don't wanna pick every single thing, but... Let's see... Well, okay. We need to figure out what everything does. So, I imagine Jim raises strength... Or strong, I should say. That's the strong stat. Read that correctly. Uh, study raises the smart... And this should be obvious. So, let's see. I believe blue is trans transformation. So, I think let's go ahead and try red, black, gym, red, and then gym. And let's see. Uh, and let's go with this. So, let's do it. Our first week. Activity. Red magic. Uh-oh. This is one of his classes. Get to your seats! Hurry up! No- Oh, what did I make his voice? I forget. Hurry up! No chatter! In this class, carelessness might cost you your fingers. He wouldn't really cut off students' fingers, would he? Here you will be learning the seductive art of red magic, the invocation and control of energy. With this power, you might summon a breeze, light a fire, or call a distant object to hand. Wow, that's actually very awesome. I say that as just seductive, not because of the power itself, but because simple minds prefer simple solutions. Blast your enemies with lightning! Tear the buildings apart with earthquakes! Let the world around you burn! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh, this guy's great! I like this guy! Fall victim to such vulgar fantasies, and you'll leave yourself vulnerable to those capable of creative thought. There are many approaches that direct force cannot defend against. He snaps his fingers in the air. One inactive moment and you lose control of the force you have summoned. After that, you will only be remembered as an unpleasant stain on the walls. He rubs his hands together and it gives a nasty smile. I like this guy! Oh my god! Now for your lessons! Success! I gained one red ma- Wait, what? One? Oh my god. Oh, hey! Cool! I arrive in the classroom feeling slightly apprehensive. Black magic, will there be zombies? Oh, what was her voice? Good morning! Has everyone got a smock and an apron? There are plenty in the back. Aprons? What are we gonna do with those? For those of you who are new to our magical traditions, I shall reassure you that black magic has nothing to do with death or evil. There's no such thing as evil magic, there's only magic. The bad and the good come from how you choose to use it. Black is the color of weight, solidity, and prefer preference. I'm bad with words. Black magic is the magic of enhancements in physical form. All wands and things like that are created with black magic. This does mean that cursed items are enhanced with black magic as well. That might be how people got the wrong idea. A pale girl with dark hair raises her hands. Yes, Raven? <clears throat> Since your enchanting matter and bones are matter, could you use black magic to animate a skeleton, right? That's an interesting question. You could certainly enchant a skeleton to hold a spell or react in some way. You could set a skull to chatter its jaws when anyone came near, like an alarm. But to make something that could walk around and act on its own, you need to bind a spirit to it. 
And that calls for another kind of ma- Wait, so the life magic is, is what we use to summon stuff? I picked the wrong magic. We'll get to combine techniques later in the year. Now, one of the easiest ways to infuse magic into a physical substance is to mix, thi mix things together in liquids. Potions! And that's what we'll be starting with. Always remember to wear your smock or apron. Potion stains can ruin your uniform. Alright, we got one stress. Damn. Let's see. Gym. There doesn't seem to be any teachers assigned to the gym. It's just a bunch of equipment that everyone can use. I see several large rubber balls. If I can organize some people together, maybe we can play prison ball. Well, hello there. I turn to see who's speaking. It's the cover guy! Who or what is that? He's dressed like a student, but I'm sure I didn't see him at orientation. I would have noticed. Okay, save. Totally save. Um, pretend everything's normal. Well, hello. Determined to be polite, I hold out my hand to him to shake. He takes hold of it, but then he bows over it instead. My name is Damien. And you are? Lisa? I don't remember seeing you at orientation. That's because I'm not a freshman. Oh, that makes sense. Don't worry, you're not expecting to recognize all the upperclassmen on site yet. That's next week. Right. I'm not sure if he's testing me or not, but I'd rather just let it go over my head and be done with it. He sighs. I suppose it was too much for me to hope for. What is? No, it's alright, I understand. You've already heard the rumors. What rumors? About me. They say I'm cursed, doomed to be evil, all because of what I look like. I can't help the way I was born. But now, girls like you won't even talk to me. You hate me on sight. That's not it. It seems like no matter what I do, I make things worse. I just never seen anyone like you before, so I didn't want to stare. I didn't know anything about you. I'm new to all this. You mean you're a wild seed? Don't worry, I won't hold it against you. That wouldn't be very fair of me, now would it? No, I guess not. Is that really a problem being wild? My roommate said it doesn't matter, but somebody else was mean about it. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to mention the professor by name. I don't want to sound like I'm accusing him. It's always the way of the world. People can be cruel to others who are different. Well, I'm an upperclassman, so anyone gives you trouble about it, let me know. I'll scare them off for you. Thanks, I think. You better get on with your physical training. You need your strength next week. What happens next week? You'll find out. He winks at me and walks off to the sports equipment office. What a strange boy. His mood seemed to change so quickly. Or do I only think that because he looks strange? He looks unusual, certainly, but not ugly. Not at all. Awesome. We're, we're a little stronger now. Afternoon, dorm room. In the late afternoon, I'm sitting on my bed with a magazine when I heard a groan. Ugh. She drops her notebook on the floor, causing it to shed a couple of loose pages. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Just school. She falls backwards onto the bed and kicks off her shoes. One, two... Where's the third person sleep? Oh, are, are, are we bunking together here? Huh? Huh, Virginia? What, what do you say? Anyway, right, I'm playing a chick. So what do you say, Virginia? Anyway, she falls backwards on the bed and kicks off her shoes, letting them arc over the different directions. I hate school, sitting still, taking notes, listening to lectures about things I know already, or never need to know because, anyway, bleh! Well, you don't have to go to class every day. You were taking it easy today, huh? No, I was doing gym. Same difference. Anyway, it's different for you. If I goof off, my brothers will catch me. Not that I care what Donald thinks. But William is different. He's a good guy. He always looked out for me. Where are you guys from, anyway? Massachusetts. Salem? 
No, Springfield! But, were there really witches in Salem? Sure, there still are! But I know what you mean. A lot of magical people are really connected to their homes. We tend to build a tower and defend it. If things go wrong at home, you fix them. Not so keen on moving. When times were bad for witches and wizards in Europe, they just hid better. They didn't go to America with the early colonists, not in big settlements anyway. And no wizards from Africa were there at all, so the only proper magical people around were the natives, and by the time of Salem, they didn't want much to do with the colonists. Then uh, a couple of kids came out wild seed, and there wasn't anyone to control them. So the witches they hanged were real? No, it was only those kids who were witches. But they didn't know it. They started doing real magic. They just... They were just as scared as the village people. So they blamed other people when the preacher told them to, and it was the other people who got hanged. Hard luck on them. Anyway, we have school now, so this sort of thing doesn't happen. I guess it's important to go to school, huh? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Thursday. Oh, nice! Okay. And some more gym. Alright, there we go. Not bad. Not a bad week, I dare say. After dinner, I'm walking back to my rooms when I notice the door is already open. I peek through the gap to see who's inside. It's Ellen! She's folding up some clothes, probably putting her laundry away. Wait a minute. That's Virginia's drawer she's opening. Why is Ellen rummaging around in our roommate's stuff? I haven't made a sound. She doesn't know I'm here yet. Well... Uh, save. Totally save. Okay, return. Let's go ahead and ask her. There's got to be a nice explanation for this. I mean, she seems like a nice girl. If you want to know something, why not just ask? What are you doing? Eek! Sorry, I didn't see you there. Just tidying up a bit. Yes, but isn't that Virginia stuff? Yes. Why are you tidying up her things? Because she doesn't do it herself. She's making you be your maid. No! At this point, Virginia returns to our shared room. Hey, you guys, what's up? Why are you making poor Ellen into your slave? Huh? She's not! Just what's going on here? I shake my head. Uh, I think I'm obviously confused about something. She saw me putting away some of your clothes. Oh, that's you, but that's been doing that. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I can't talk. I'm sorry, I just hate messy rooms! No, it's my fault. I'm not very good at picking up after myself. Mom always does that for me at home. Still, I didn't think it was it was too bad yet. We've only been here a week. I hate having things be out of place. It makes me feel nervous. I don't know if I can make things perfect all the time. We all have to live together a year without driving each other crazy. How can we work this out? Oh, save again. Save. There we go. Everyone maintains their own space. Ellen should teach Virginia. Virginia should pay. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to recommend that. But I don't think she'd go for it. So I'm thinking Ellen should teach Virginia. Yeah. No, wait. Well, okay. That's going to drive Ellen insane. That's never going to work. This seems like the best option. You said you didn't know if you could keep things clean. But that's probably because you don't know how. If Ellen teaches you how to clean a room properly, and gives you reminders, I'm sure you can do it. I suppose... It's not a- OH BULLSHIT! That was the best of the three options you gave me! You su- I- Fuck you! It's not a perfect compromise, but it's hard to reach a perfect agreement between three different people. I awaken early on a Saturday morning by a type at the door, followed by a faint hissing sound. What's going on? Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, we're gonna... I'm gonna save and end it here, because we're running over time. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun. There were some great moments. Oh, man, I'm looking forward to playing the rest of this. So, I'll catch you all next time. Later!